akisherekea siku yake ya kuzaliwa akiwa na umri wa miaka sitini na tatu huko Abidjan Ivory Coast Rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta alipokea jumbe za heri kutoka kwa Kenya mitandaoni na mitaani Msafara wa burudani wenye wasanii wa Kikuyu ulizunguka maeneo tofauti jijini Nairobi wa Kenya waliburudishwa na baadhi walijumuika kwa furaha kusherekea siku hii walicheza miundo iliyoporomosha na kumtakia rais wa nne wa Kenya heri ya siku ya kuzaliwa Leo Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta we wish you a very happy birthday may you live long may you have many 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 more with full full of God's blessings na uende miaka mingi hata kuliko vile watu wanaweza kutarajia we wish you good health be strong be powerful and continue to love god and to love kenya today ndio tuna celebrate birthday ya our former president uhuru mugai kenyata today we celebrate may you live long na mungu azidi kukubaliki na kuongeza miaka tena na tena wakati huo huo akisherehekea siku yake ya kuzaliwa huko magharibi mwa Afrika uhuru alisitiza umuhimu wa wananchi kuungana na kudumisha amani na umoja ili kusonga mbele sasa siku hizi mimi siongei jameni milangu tu ni nikutakia wa Kenya amani na umoja okay. jameni tujue sisi wote ni ni binadamu sisi zote tuna mahitaji okay wache mambo ya kuzozana, kuingiliana na okay. tushikane na tupendane kama wa Kenya. Yaani tu nilikuwa nasema nikiwa rais na mengine mimi. Okay. Mmoja wa taifa letu, amani ya taifa letu. Okay. Na wa Kenya waweze kusonga mbele pamoja. Katibu mkuu wa chama cha Jubilee Jeremiah Kioni naye amewaambia wa Kenya hasa katika eneo la Mlima Kenya wasitarajie ushauri au ushiriki wa uhuru katika hali ya kisiasa ya sasa. One is to wish him happy birthday and to to wish him long life and uh, good health and also to thank him for the leadership that he gave to this country Kenyans are really yearning to hear him speak and to even get him give direction but also to say that uh, he may not not come and say nendeni hivi but those of us who are close to him have to be very keen to ensure that uh, we do not even mislead people um, while we are not it's not him who is telling us we do not want to pretend like we are he is the one telling us what to do but we must keep our ears open and our eyes open and we must have the an honest heart to listen to him because he he means well for this country hii mambo mengine yote tulikuwa tunawambiwa atisijui anafanya anafanya all those were things that were meant to tarnish his name and the work that he was doing by god's grace he has been vindicated He meant well for this country. Katika ziara ya uhuru ya mkutano wa 15 wa ngazi ya juu huko Abidjan Ivory Coast, Rais Mstaafu alisitiza umuhimu wa Afrika kufadhili na kuunga mkono mipango yake amani. Alisitiza umuhimu wa kuwa na suluhu endelevu inayoongozwa na Afrika, akihimiza mataifa ya Afrika yajitegemee ili baraliwe lenye amani na utulivu. And one of the things that we must seriously consider going forward as a continent is that if we truly want to own a process that if we really want to be masters of our own future that if we truly want sustainable solutions that are african born and led we cannot do that if we are not in a position to back what we do through resources that we generate. Hafla hiyo iliwaleta pamoja viongozi wa muungano wa Afrika, wawakilishi maalum, wakuu wa jamii za kiuchumi za kanda na wajumbe wa kimataifa kujadili mustakabali wa kutatua migogoro na kujenga amani barani. Harriet Chimea K24.